Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Boris Becker's latest love match, German tennis ace prepares to make fiancé Lillian de Carvalho Montero his third wife in the day Italian nuptials. Boris Becker is set to make fiancé Lillian de Carvalho Montero his third wife this weekend with a three-day-long wedding party in a swanky Italian resort. The 56-year-old tennis star and commentator is set to tie the knot with Lillian, a political risk manager from the African island of Sao Tome and Principe, in Portofino in front of around 150 guests. Lillian, who is 23 years his junior, has stood by Boris through thick and thin after he was jailed for two and a half years in the UK after he was found to have hidden £2.5 million of assets and loans in a bankruptcy fraud case. The Riviera hotspot, south of Genoa, is popular with the rich and famous. Rod Stewart tied the knot with Penny Lancaster nearby in 2007. It's a serve of happiness for the tennis ace, who has six grand slams including three Wimbledon titles to his name, following a troubled period that saw him kicked out of the UK. Boris served eight months of the sentence at Wandsworth and Huntercombe prisons before being deported from Britain in December 2022, ruling out a return to his job on the BBC commentating on Wimbledon. He did, however, contribute to Sky Italia's coverage of the action from SW19 over the summer. He had lived in the UK since 2012 and was declared bankrupt in 2017 before being imprisoned in April 2022. London-based Ms. Montero is a political risk analyst and has three degrees, including a master's in African Studies from the School of Oriental and African Studies, and speaks five languages, including German, according to German newspaper Bild. She was born in the African island state of Sao Tome and Principe and is the daughter of Victor Montero, the republic's former minister of defense who ran for the presidency in 2014. Ms. Montero spent much of her youth in Rome, where she attended a private school, before studying at the University of La Sapienza. She first came to London to study at the School of Oriental and African Studies, where she earned her master's degree at the age of 25. He reportedly proposed to Lillian at Milan's cathedral back in 2021, but any hope of a fairy tale wedding was cut short by the impending prison sentence. She was a constant presence by his side while attending court hearings, and even blew him a goodbye kiss when he was jailed last year and blasted by a judge for showing no remorse. After the prison release, the couple who were based in the UK relocated to Milan. A source told The Sun, Boris is incredibly grateful to Lillian for staying with him through the hardest time of his life. He said, she saved me, and I will never forget her for that. She is the woman of my new life. News of his nuptials was first reported by German gossip publication Bunt, which reports that his sons from his first marriage to Barbara Feltus, Noah, and Elias, will be there, but his daughter Anna Ermakova will not. She was born out of wedlock after Boris had a fling with Russian emigre Angela Ermakova while his wife was carrying her second child in the toilet of the upscale London restaurant Nobu. His mother, Elvira, 89, is reported to have agreed to attend the ceremony accompanied by Boris's sister Sabine, 60. But his youngest son Amadeus was reportedly not invited, and was said to be shocked when he found out his father was getting married again. His second wife, Lily Kersenberg, said of Boris's decision not to inform his 14-year-old boy, I wish him all the best, but behaving like that towards our son is the last thing he could do. Boris will hope this wedding is third time lucky, following a famously tumultuous and checkered relationship history for the former world number one. Between 1988 and 1991, he was in a relationship with Karen Schultz, before a one-year stint with Cassandra Hepburn. He then met and married his first wife, Barbara Feltis, in 1993, when she was eight months pregnant with their son, Noah. Just before the wedding, he and Barbara set tongues wagging by posing nude for the cover of Stern magazine in a picture taken by her father. Five years later, while heavily pregnant with their second son, Elias, Barbara was contacted by Angela Ermakova who shared the news of their love child, bringing his marriage crashing down about him. A divorce was granted in January 2001, in which Barbara received a whopping £14.4 million settlement, their condominium on Fisher Island, Floria, and custody of their children. Becker was then briefly engaged to Alessandra Meyer Wolden, daughter of his former advisor and manager, but the couple broke up months later in November 2008. She later said of their time together, I knew Boris was Boris, but I had no idea what came with it. 
his personal life was a mess. There were divorces, there were children, there were breakups. Then in February 2019, the serial dater announced he and Dutch model Charlie Lily Kersenberg were to be married. This time he made it up the aisle and they were married for nine years before the relationship turned sour, each accusing the other of unreasonable behavior. In July 2019, it was reported he was dating British model Layla Powell. Since 2022, he has been in a relationship with Lillian de Carvalho Montero. Boris and Lillian are reported to have chosen Portofino after spending time there last summer. The ex-tennis star now lives with his girlfriend in what is reported to be a beautiful apartment in the heart of Milan. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.